having some uh, canned dinner tonight. Some of this Campbell's chunky stuff. I like these cans. Or I like this brand anyway. Cooked with care in the USA. So I threw in a can of corn. Thicken things up a little bit. Make a little more, more stuff in there. I am running out of food. So yeah, we're into the canned stuff. Gonna have to get going here soon. Gotta pick up mail. Do all those things. A little salt and pepper. It's pretty good. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this project. The cabinet has got to come down. This um, thing has too many holes and it's collecting moisture up in the space up here. Really bad. Put my hand up in there the other day and the whole area is sweating. So I'm going to take this cabinet down, get me better access to it, get me better access to these walls. This is just an empty space back here and it goes all the way back uh, to this barrier here. And I want to keep that sealed off. So anyway, I'm going to take these cabinets down. Kind of sucks. I got, uh, yeah, I got storage up in here I just really need, but I'll find a place for them. It'll be too hard to figure out, but it was the last, they're my last couple of cabinets there. But, oh well. They are, you know, looking at the side here since they are not connected to the wall. It's another thing hanging down on the ceiling, so... Uh, I mean, it might be supported by this back piece here. There might be some framework. I think it's all supported pretty good. There's some, there's a uh, frame here and over about here, there's another steel stud framework of the RV running through there. So there's some pretty good support. I think this is okay to come down. I think this is the main thing to leave. I'll make sure that doesn't go anywhere. But, uh, I mean, it's pretty sturdy, but I need access to this thing here, and I'm not going to want to put it back up. I don't think. It's just the RV's getting to a point where I need to keep an eye on every spot of the ceiling and every spot of the walls, and taking this down will help me do that. And also bring down some weight from above, so if I bring all the storage down below bins or something i'll find a place to put this stuff this is extra paper towels toilet paper perfect spot for it office supplies uh stamps letters for mailing things uh my stickers for when i start selling those again just got my logo stickers for right now i'm gonna get a different set of stickers though so instead of just selling those i have a little variety um one will be of just patches I like this one though. Uh, it's my channel logo. Helps promote the uh, what I'm doing here. Got a couple of pictures off a of free picture site, and took the roof off of one picture and put it on over the RV. I thought that was pretty cool and somewhat symbolic. Put it together myself in the Photoshop and put my you know channel name on there. I thought it was pretty cool. I like it. We will be selling those again at some point, but yeah, I'm gonna get uh, another sticker or two to add to the shop and a little too busy right now to be working with all that anyway so that's why i've been putting that off so stay tuned everybody asking about the stickers and then this side we got all my camera stuff a couple tripods some extra batteries accessories and things so let's find a couple spots for these all right, got those all emptied out. Doors are off, lighten things up a little bit. Pulling screws. Not too complicated of a thing there. Just got three pieces connected together. Pulling some hardware, saving screws. Getting low, so I've been meaning to grab up some, some extra stuff there. So we're gonna salvage as much as I can. 
resupply my screw stash. I went at this with a chisel and chopped out a notch so the wires can just drop through, or so the cabinet can just drop, drop around. Holy moly, what a change. But I like that a lot better than I thought I would. Thought this would be, uh, kind of make it look weird up here, but. It looks, I, I almost like it better. Yeah. A big change, but I like it. I don't think these really need to be here. It's not really doing anything anyhow. Gonna need to cut a slot for this camera cable. These were some exploratory holes to make sure. Um, I could drill through right here for the camera cable. So I was looking around in here before I drilled a hole. Got a camera connection up in here as well. Did not help keeping the moisture out, but there was already a problem with all this when I bought it. So this is actually really great. I love being able to stand up here and put my face right in the hole and look around. And now I could pull these down and see, keep an eye on these walls and see what they look like. Looks like they made this out of a piece of the wall for another RV or something. It's a di different pattern than what I got in here. It's funny that's not on that side. Huh, it's weird. It's like they recycled a piece. That came from this side, and there is a little. Probably old. Or it's from the condensation. Looks like that was a bad spot at one point, and yeah, I do kind of remember that it was a funky looking corner before the uh, repair. Wall looking pretty good though. That's good. Steel also somehow. Well, there's some rust spots on there, but yeah, that looks fine. I have to get some primer on there, some kind of paint. This side's a little chewed up for some reason. It's not. Uh... Mm, yeah, that's actually. And the board's solid. It's just. Well, it's like half solid and half. Separate board right there. This board's pretty much done. 
Need to foam that up. Sealing. Up and uh, I'll make some patches, maybe some temporary for right now, and then uh, I think I might even move these speakers out to the front here. Looks like a way better spot for them. Put some way nicer ones in there actually. Got a lot more room for it. Some bumps, get some beats up there. Held on by the same hidden screw button thingy. Just one. Yeah, let's just kinda, oh wow. That's not, <laughs> it's not really held in there. Gonna have to do something there. Big old brace though, boy. Man, I got like a double steel bar going across there. So I could definitely pull this down and use that to trace a new board. Make it all one piece and then have some large cutouts for panels so I can get in here and work on things if I need to. For right now, I'll just take this down. Maybe get some of that spray foam insulation. Oh, wow. That is so wet. Everything is just dripping. There's so much moisture in there, holy moly. Get this dried out really good and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do something that's, oh, there's the roof. Uh, oh, that actually is surprisingly dry. All the moisture's just collecting on this fiberglass. Yeah, no wonder it feels like a refrigerator in there. Could put my face by and feel cold air pouring out. Poorly designed from from the body up. The chassis is pretty awesome. Can't go wrong with the Chevy 454. That is running strong, but boy, there are such these cheap little welds and just, I don't know, they could have done so much better, but you know, that's, yeah. Uh, this will be a good spot to uh, put that bar for my curtain even brace up the walls a little bit that way. Maybe make a roll cage. Getting all sorts of ideas now. Boy, let's uh, definitely clean first and seal things up so moisture stops getting in there. It has been some hours and uh, apparently just leaving this open completely dried that out in there. Starting to think the key to this is just to get a dehumidifier. I don't have to worry about anything. Still want to repair this panel. Put this outlet in there. I don't really need that up here anymore. It was for, uh, I think, a v TV VCR combo thing. Yeah, that's crazy. It's all dry. Just needed a little, uh... Well, we'll take those cabinets down. Must have let more heat get in there. Airflow. Keep picking away at this wall and holy moly, look at all these gaps. Like what the hell is going on here? Big old circle cut out. Surprised it's not rotting at all. It does feel moist. It's freezing cold, so it makes sense. Look at that. The outside wall right there all along that gap. Bunch of scammers trying to get your money. Only thing they did right was put a Chevy underneath it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be do some foam, fill some spots in with some foam. Let's 
gonna help out a bit for keeping the cold out of this RV, keeping the walls from rotting. There's a gap in there too. Big old hole right there. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. It's just a place where the wire goes in. So, the wood's pretty much good on this side. It's just got some gaps, so we'll get the foam gun out. Fill everything in. All vacuumed up. Probably use a wipe down before I put any insulation foam in there, help it stick. Yeah, it's like these were made to fail. I know some RVs have like aluminum siding and last a lot longer, but this is some uh, something. I don't like it. I don't think it would have taken too much just to cut that to fit a little better or foam it up. I'm sure they had some sort of insulation foam stuff in the 80s. So what is this, 88? 